meditation the missing dimension in education that you all could make here this evening at such a short notice i welcome you all at swedenborg chapel at howard square cambridge this evening this evening's topic is not only an eye opener for those who are in authority to look into the education system throughout the world instead through this i share my insights into meditation and how it can bring about a new dimension into the lives of the youth the youth today is the backbone of humanity it is our responsibility to mold this life energy into a direction that is a blend of inner and outer inner and outer are two wings and without one you can simply limp the two are complementary to one another and therefore cannot be negated before i begin this evening's talk i must take you into retrospect it was the year 1893 the same month of september as it is now however it was 11 days earlier on 11th of september 1893 that a simple but elegant unique in his gestures radiant and serene monk traveled all the way from shores of east in in india he came to attend the parliament of religions at chicago vivekanand was the name assumed by this wandering monk no credentials unknown unaware of the ways and means of this world that he is now ready to plunder he was not even the official representative however the date for the registration at the parliaments had expired he was an orator by divine rights and a messenger from heaven none could stop him the opportunity to enter the party heavenly forces brought him into contact with one professor of this very harvard university where we have gathered this evening it was professor henry john wright the way was paid for the registration this very harvard university opened a new avenue for the merger of the wisdom of the east and the west once again this day 22nd of september in the year 2009 the history seems to repeat itself things have diluted somewhat instead of vivekanand it is tau shu buddha here once again bringing the wisdom of the east to merge in the stream of the west to create a new confluence where the weary traveler can sojourn for a while feel resurrected and full of vitality to continue life's journey also instead of professor john wright this time it is a harvard scholar a don mr ward williamson and a samaritan a long time friend subhash sagal whose combined efforts have made this even possible it is a new beginning let us all cherish it to the very core of our being that such opportunities come our way more often than not meditation 
the missing dimension in education is indeed a revolution for the educationist so that they can look into the education system it is the insight of a buddha to look into the education system and add the missing dimension so that we can create a balanced individuals who have attained to oneness as they are ready to plunder into the world of objects and beings and unknown and unknowable world as a student or an educationist you either spend or help someone to go through nearly one third precious years of life in acquiring all that is deemed necessary to plunder into the outer world of competition conflict and duality where everything is measured in terms of money efficiency and speed after spending nearly 20 25 27 years of your youthful life of vigor you are decorated with degrees credits honors of various kinds and colors it is said ironically you are now ready to the world that lies ahead of you have you wandered have you wandered that after spending nearly one third of your life's precious years when you leave the university campuses to enter the outside world are you a balanced human being i repeat this again and emphatically have you wandered that after spending nearly one third of your life's precious years when you leave the university campus to enter the outside world are you a balanced human being are you capable to deal with the unique questions the questions that are unique and innocent that life poses to you are you blissful deep within are you fully ready to enter the mysterious world with unique ways and means that is inviting you in all its glamour and glitter answers to these questions you have to see deep within i can answer on your behalf however i leave this for you to introspect deep within the silence of your being as a student and as a educationist the professors the learned ones if the answer is capital no that will certainly be i can vouch for that the answer will definitely be a capital no then we need to revisit our systems of education at the schools colleges and universities certainly something is grossly wrong with our education systems and there is something that is missing in your education systems and that which is missing and that which is missing is the fourth dimension or the dimension of the being this fourth dimension or the dimension of the being is the dimension of meditation meditation is the missing dimension in education when we look into our ancient systems of education 
in the east the universities at nalanda takshila and the system of teaching we find something unique in such companies the students were prepared inwardly to venture into the life ahead of us let not any has hasty one conclude that i want the entire education system into the old one remember life does not move backward life always moves forward wise never lament for that which is not wise never lament for that which is not but certainly learn from the wisdom of the past and translate or present the old into new jargons each master does this he is the link between the past and the present like a bridge under which life energy flows he connects the two shore the past and the present the inner and the outer thus he prepares you for the mysterious life that lies ahead of you when it poses innocent questions my purpose of this talk this evening is to bring a new awareness and deep down a realization that in the meditation is the missing dimension in our education system this realization is the first step for the journey forward into a new horizon a journey that we are embarking into an unknown world meditation is that link for the master within that connects the two shows the inner and the outer and in the process prepares you to face the intricate situations that life presents as you interact in the outer world of objects and beings when i speak of meditation as the missing dimension in education i am not speaking of a hindu meditation or a christian meditation or a muslim meditation or a jewish meditation or a buddhist meditation meditation is simply meditation it is the process of transforming the base into the expensive and precious jewels how can we transform the base of energies into the higher ones let us embark on a journey that we create balanced harmonious and blissful